Offensive team has to win two points in a row. Defensive team only has to win the one point. All right, so let's get into a doubles formation. Yeah, we'll put the sponsored team on the camera. So, get to the ball before the bounce. Hit. Oh, not aggressive enough. Okay, Gene, win the point to win the match. No, okay, bad to reset. When we play the second point, you stay both at the net, okay? Yeah, so first ball, you're coming to the net. Good. In or out? Out, out, in or out. Okay, ready? Stay at the net, stay at the net, guys, stay at the net. Second one. Yep. So yeah, when she's getting the smash, you can't do anything, you gotta cover that line. What I would say is you gotta come back in here and cover and try and make her hit the out wide one because the out wide one's the hardest one. Top of the bounce, here we go. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, 15 love defense, reset. Ball coming, go, bounce up, look at the height. Good. Okay, Pela, your smash, ready? We'll wait for Kelly just to move that ball. Here we go, so get into defense, guys. Okay, cover the defense. Yeah, cover the middle, yeah. Because Jane's covering the line, you cover the middle, and we just leave the left side. Here we go. There's the middle. So once, once the ball comes towards Jane, you gotta cover the middle, that's it. Again, just to recap on this play, right? Right, first ball, I don't know the ball going to Jane. Ball could come at me. Okay. First ball, right? So I stay. I anticipate that the ball's gonna come at me. The moment the ball goes to Jane, I move to a new position. Here. Okay. Then if it's a smash, then I can choose to go back. Here we go. So you wait till she hits. Now you cover the next position. Oh, nice shot. Now what are you gonna do? Here we go, short ball. Oh, lovely shot. Score right now, 40-15. Block it back. Go. Stay there, stay there. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's it. Right, look at how far you're coming in on that shot. So she's played like three lots. So I would not be getting inside the service line after the pride shot. Yeah, but you hit the ball. Now stay on the service line. Stay on the service line. Don't go back. Service line. Where are you going? Going back now. Come forward. Oh, got short ball. All right, keep moving. Good. All right, Palin's running all over the place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a, yeah, yeah. Short ball, get to it, get to it. That's good. Okay, and again, let's ready, go. So short ball, you come in. Go, service line. Now smash it. Service line. Service line, Gene. See how much you had to move forward, but then when you hit it, you're on the service line. So if you're on the service line before, you wouldn't have had to move forward so much. Ready? Ready, go. Short ball, get to it, now. Defense. Hit down, hit down. Yes. Okay, so stop. We talked about that last lesson. You're hitting a volley in a defense or offense position. If you haven't seen the tips from last week, go on to Amy's profile page. Go, short ball when it comes to the smash. Service line. Service line. Smash. Go, Jay. Right, cover the middle, Amy. There you go, now it's yours. Ready, go, attack. Service line. Okay, ready, smash while well, Kelly's out of position. Good, yes. Oh, no! <laughs> um, I do want to practice this kind of short ball. I feel like we're very good at moving up to the short ball when it's really a short ball and it's a soft ball and we're kind of forced into going up to the ball. See that ball, it's just landing a little bit shorter, but it's still got kind of enough speed and spin to kind of go through the baseline. That's where I feel like we can now start to try and be even more aggressive on this sort of ball. So if they hit the ball too high and it's too short, we're gonna come up and take it on the rise, take it early and get into the net. Because again, if we control the net, we most of the time we're gonna control, control the point. 
Couple of things that we do need to make sure that we do. Do not get too close to the net, especially when we play two players at the net. Forward, you're hitting the ball, you're moving in, and you end up getting into this position and then they just push up. Okay, and so then that becomes a, a very effective lob. When I start standing here, my opponent feels like they can hit a lob and they only have to hit the ball here, right? And, and so I give them a big target and chances are they might actually even be missing their target, but they're missing it a little bit longer and it goes in. When I start standing here, yeah, all of a sudden now this part is out of, out of bounds. They now try and start hitting the ball a little bit deeper. Again, if they hit that target, there's nothing you can do. Same way as when we talk about when we stand here and they hit the outside line. There's nothing you can do. It's just about covering them with the percentage. Nothing wrong with being in this position if you feel like you want to try and get some poaches and stuff like that if your opponent's at the baseline. Because if they lob, you've got a partner back. But when, you, when your partner comes up, you've got to stop that. The other thing, and I never saw a drop shot approach shot. Not playing it 90% of the time. Yeah, eight, seven. It's out of 10 times, we want to be trying to hit the ball deep, but also do look at that little drop shot as well, because it can become such an effective tactic. They're having to worry about playing the deep one, but also moving forward. If they only have to worry about moving back, they already start opening up the face and they're just thinking about the lob already, or they start thinking about the passing shot. So you just give them something else to think about.